Hey guys! Today I am doing a video called Get to Know Your BFF. And uh, I just thought I would do this questionnaire with none other than the Sammy V. <laughs> oh, that's so lame. I'm so lame, you guys. But I, I read a quote and it was the longest relationship you'll ever be in is the one that you have with yourself. And you guys are probably like rolling your eyes like, oh my god, that's so lame. But it's true. You're always with yourself. No matter what you do, where you are, what you're going through, you have your own back, no matter what. Uh, yes, friends help and family and um, strangers and everything, but you gotta appreciate yourself as well. So I like to consider myself as a really good friend of myself. You're probably like, Girl, you need help. <laughs> no. no, no, it's not, it's not, because let me just get on with this. You want to know questions about me? Or answers or something? You want to know about me? Let's find out. Question one. Are you ready for this? I am kind of ready for this. It's like so zoomed in. It's whatever. Okay. When are you the happiest? Okay. Um, I'd have to say... Oh, that's a tough, that's a very, very tough question. Um, the happiest. I don't know if I can even answer these on the spot. I would say, I guess it depends on what I'm doing and the time of month. And <laughs> like, I don't know, honestly. I am usually very happy when I'm eating, so <laughs> especially if it's um, spring rolls or fast food. Ooh, that sounds really bad. Moving on, question two. What is your favorite food when you were a kid? What was your favorite food when you were a kid? What about now? Okay, when I was a kid, I don't know, my favorite food was like everything. I'd have to say, I do remember writing that down once and I said lasagna. So, let's just go with lasagna. But, it was pretty much everything. Uh, what is my favorite food now? Honestly, if I had to choose one food to eat for the rest of my life, it would have to be um, spring rolls from uh, my favorite restaurant. So, that's my favorite food. Question three. What is your, what was your first job? Wow, I can't even read. My first job, well, I don't know if that depends on, uh, I don't know, legality. Um, I guess my first technical job through government and all that fun stuff was working at a hair salon. I was receptionist slash clean up person slash wash people's hair slash organization girl slash do the laundry. I was just kind of like the helpful person around the store. And I only worked Thursday nights after school, which was I was in high school at the time. Um, so that was like the first job I ever had where I was like legally submitted to the government. Does that make sense? I don't know. You're probably like, well, what other jobs did you have? Well, like, I don't know if like chores count, but I mean, I got paid when I was younger for doing chores around the house. I did help out um, a neighbor with envelope folding stuff. It sounds weird, but it was like for the RM and I signed up and I did some help through there and I did get paid for that work. I don't know if that really counts as a technical first job and I don't know why my answer is so long for this but now you guys know. Okay, dream vacation. <sighs> guys, I don't even know what my dream vacation would be. Um, to be honest, I've always wanted to go to the Athabasca Sand Dunes, which I don't know where you're from watching this video, but it is way the heck up north. There's sand dunes up there, and you're probably thinking there's just ice up there. Well, actually, there's a desert up there, so I would love to go there. So I don't know. Check it out. Athabasca sand dunes. Um, 
What does your perfect day look like from morning to night? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, my perfect day would probably start with a shower, getting ready, doing my makeup. I love doing makeup. And you're like, oh my god, girl, you're not even trying. Well, flaunt it. <laughs> uh, you're like, flaunt the ugly. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm beautiful inside and out. Just. Anyways, um, what? <sighs> Perfect day. I guess it would be, you know, that I'm happy, I'm healthy, uh, everything's going according to plan. I don't know what my perfect day would look like. Uh, it could be anything. A perfect day could be sitting on the beach, drinking wine and Caesars, and just chilling, watching the sunset, and then go having a fish fry later. That would be a perfect day. A perfect day would also be um, flying to Hawaii and uh, eating lots of fish. Okay, so it sounds like my perfect day is beach and fish. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Um, if you won the lottery and didn't have to work, how would you spend your days? I kind of feel like I have won the lottery already. I, I feel like this is like a mugshot. Like, I'm so sorry. I am kind of honestly living that life right now, in a way. Of course, I still have to worry about money. But realistically, if I won the lottery and didn't have to work, I would be doing kind of what I'm doing right now. I would be working on my side business, which I'm doing... Um, Drafting and design. So drafting houses, designing houses, commercial buildings, development, um, renovation plans, all that kind of stuff. That's what I went to school for and that's what I actually enjoy doing. And I have created a business and that's what I'm working on right now. Second, YouTube videos. I love YouTube videos. No, I'm not making any money yet on them and I don't do it for the money. I honestly do it because I think it's so fun. I like sharing my life with other people. I've had a lot of good comments and specific people who follow me and comment on my videos as I progress through my YouTube career. And it's the same people who comment like, I love your videos. Your videos are so funny. Keep doing what you're doing. And it's like videos that I look back and I'm like, oh, actually enjoy watching that but to be honest they are kind of funny I don't know I sometimes like to look at them and laugh and just to think I did get an email from a few people and like I'm just starting out still and they were saying that like I've made such a huge difference in their life just by posting my videos and that if they've had a hard day or you know a tough week they watch one of my videos and they just laugh and smile and like that means everything to me like you guys have no idea that means literally everything and I will well I don't plan on quitting YouTube and that's like 90% of the reason why is because even if I'm making a small difference to just one person in the entire world who's watching my videos I want to keep doing that and I know that other youtubers have done the same thing for me so um, that's how I would honestly spend my days um, and of course, if I don't have to worry about going to a, an eight to not a five job, I have more than enough time to edit my videos, go film videos, you know, and travel and share the world with you guys. So, does that answer your question? <laughs> what are you most excited about right now? Honestly, I would have to say this video. That's just the first thing that comes to head is this video is the next step on creating my YouTube channel. Who I'm about, what it represents, and this video is fun. I'm having a lot of fun answering these questions even though a lot of people probably already are like, this video sucks. And some people are probably watching this going, this sucks, why am I still watching? And some people are probably watching going, I like this. 
<laughs> but um, I would have to say right now in this moment, I'm excited for this moment right now, which is filming this video for you guys. And you might not believe me or think that that's super cheesy, but it's true. And now I'm wearing cheese. <laughs> Do you remember what you were the most excited about 10 years ago? Okay, so 10 years ago, I would have been 14. Um, oh, the sun is setting. I just look, I have to go look. At 14 years old, I don't even know where I was in life, but I've always been excited to move out of home. That has always been an exciting thing for me is to go out, get my own place, have my own house that I can keep however I want to keep it. Not that there was anything wrong with where I grew up. It was great. It was amazing. It was a beautiful, well, uh, brand new built home that was like well insulated. It was a great house, but I was always so excited to live out on my own. Have this like giant closet, walk-in closet, um, more like giant room for my clothes and jewelry and accessories and makeup and all that fun stuff. Um, I have to say at 14, that's probably what I was most excited about. Just moving out, having my own life. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to think back 10 years ago. That makes me feel really old. Damn, these questions. Okay. When you order dessert, you always go for cheesecake. Usually cheesecake. Um, depends on like where I am, but Cheesecake is usually what I like. I'm not a huge sweets person, believe it or not. Um, I'm very picky with my sweets. I do not like cake. I pretty much only eat ice cream cake. So there's that. But if I'm at like a fast food restaurant, I love um, like McFlurries or Blizzards from EQ. Like super good. But only like certain kinds, like pretty much just Oreo. <laughs> Oh, okay. What are you the most scared of? Well, most frequently scared of is spiders. I absolutely hate them. I'm terrified. I hate them so much. I'm so scared of spiders. I just, I can't stand them. Uh, yeah, I'd have to say spiders. <laughs> your top three favorite movies okay I'm not a big movie person I don't typically watch movies but if I had to choose back in the day when I was younger I would watch more movies than I do now um, It's a, a Rush movie. It was a documentary on the band Rush, and I'll just, enough, that, that's it. I, I really don't have top three. Like, I don't really watch movies. I don't really plan on going back and watching any movies. I've, I've taken this long to even think of just one. It's like, I just, I don't really have favorites. I can tell you ones that I used to have as a favorite. Um, I'll keep Rush as my number one. But uh, two that I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, I guess like Wayne's World was a really good one. Uh, Nacho Libre and Little Miss Sunshine. I don't know. Those were like my favorites when I was younger. Now, I would just have to say Rush Trump's Ball. Um, let's see. Favorite book of all time would be The Outsiders. I don't even have to think about that. I love that book. I love the movie. Oh, there we go. There's another movie. I would have to say Rush and The Outsiders um, are my top favorite movies. I don't know. The third can just be whatever. Um, love The Outsiders. Read it in school and I just I loved every second of it. It was so good. Okay. What song makes you want to dance without fail every time you hear it? 
Rush. But song. Okay. Um, I don't even know my dance. I would have to say. for that song if you know what I'm saying <laughs> I don't know I just like to dance to that one so there's that um let's see what else describe your dream house okay this is interesting because I always thought growing up my dream house would be this giant mansion with like the things you see in magazines and oh man like just the dream home but pinning like pinteresting pinning tiny homes and like that's what I have more pinned than like anything it's tiny homes so honestly at least to start off in I'd say my dream home would be like a tiny home with a giant walk closet <laughs> uh okay who is your spirit animal who Okay, I don't know. Neil Peart. Neil Peart? I don't know how to pronounce his name. I've always pronounced it Peart. Peart? Peart? Neil Peart? <laughs> I'm butchering this and I swear I'm like the biggest rush fan. You guys are like, no, you're not! Um, the drummer from Rush, Neil Peart? That's how I'm saying it. <laughs> I'd say so because his lyrics have gotten me through pretty much I actually every single extremely tough moment in my entire like all the moments. Tough, good, hard, easy moments in my life. His lyrics. Yes, the band Rush puts the music together, but his lyrics. He pretty much writes every single song. And those lyrics just walk me through life. Like, like everything's gonna be okay, no matter what I'm feeling. And I would have to say that because of his mind and where and how he thinks, I would have to say that that's my favorite animal. <laughs> What's something you've always wanted to ask me? <laughs> okay. Um. What's something I've always wanted to ask myself? Are you happy with where you are in life? And my first response is really quick is I graduated college without failing any classes and I'm not gonna lie, it was an incredibly, incredibly being on hard course. Um, <laughs> that's that's all I have to say about that. Uh, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life but I've also learned a lot as well. And for that, I'm very proud with who I've become. Um, yes, there are some regrets for sure, but there's a lot of things that I, um, I'm happy with where I am now and what I've developed and where I am. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it. Um, yeah, it's just, I feel like everything happens for a reason, like everything, and because of that, I feel like I'm on the right path, so, does that answer the question? Last question, who's your ultimate girl crush? Oh, myself. Um, I don't know. Besides me, I would have to say my girl crush would be two people. I think. I think Karina and 
Katrina from Tone It Up. They've inspired me beyond words to get fit, work out, eat healthy, just enjoy life. And I don't know, I just, I discovered Tone It Up when I was like in my first year of college and now I'm graduated and I already have my own business and I still go on Tone It Up daily and those women have inspired me so much. So I'd have to say those two girls. They've been my biggest inspiration for sure. So, um, hmm. I guess that's it for the um, questionnaire. <laughs> There's like comments on it. Excited to do this with my BFF and I'm just like, hey girl, you my BFF. <laughs> If you guys have any questions that you want to ask me that weren't on this list that are appropriate, I would possibly answer them. So uh, go down below, comment, and let me know what you want to know about me. Um, I also have some videos back in the day. Uh, me and my best friend at the time, Carly, we did a, a best friend questionnaire. And they were, I think, mostly different questions than this, but I really wanted to do this video for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't, I don't know. My battery's almost dead, so I'm just gonna cut it there. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye. 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 I can't say bye.